I made this beautiful farming area and the best thing to have nearby is bees. They don't only make the crops grow faster but they can also give me honeycomb which can be turned into a really cute decorative block. Now I just need bees. When I planted these trees a beehive randomly appeared and it must have been because there were flowers nearby. Oh hi there bee, nice to see you. So I think an easy way to get more bees is to spawn them in trees. Let's get some saplings out, I think it's gonna work best on birch. And I'll pick some of these wildflowers growing around these plains. I'll make a long line of saplings and leave a flower next to each of them. I'm not 100% sure this will work, so while the trees are growing, I want to find some more beehives in the wild. It's adventure time! But first I'll bake some nice potatoes for the road. I've never noticed how cool the fire animation looks on smokers. It's so cute. It's been a while since I've explored, so this should be fun. Let's check out that flower forest up the hill. Horse, don't draw on me. No, no. Okay, he's fine. Hello, are there any bees down here? Nope, just some poor cows that will be stuck there forever. Are there any bees in this forest? Hello? No bees anywhere. Do I have to go from tree to tree to check if they have a hive? And now it's raining and I almost rode my horse into this cave. What a great weather to look for bees. Oh, it's a flower forest. They must have beehives. Wait, I think I see one. Yes, first hive. Wait, there's another one. But do they even have bees in them? <gasps> another one! Oh, I got an advancement! So this one definitely has bees. And while I'm here, I might as well take all these cute flowers. And I just found two more beehives! Where are they even coming from? And I've never had this many flowers at once. Ah! And there's a cow mom with her babies! Why is this area so cute? Let's leave before we die from cuteness overload. And it's another beehive. I think I'm pretty much decked out with beehives, but let's see if the flower tree method actually worked. There isn't a single bee nest on them. I'm sad. Oh well, free wood. Now I actually need to figure out where I want to build a home for my bees. I was thinking maybe a giant mansion. Okay, maybe that's gonna be a bit too much. How about a giant mansion with a giant garden in front of it? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna build it up on this little hill here and I think the first step will be making a tiny little bee farm inside it for honeycomb. But instead of making the farm, I spent 30 minutes transforming the area so it's ready to be built on. Sometimes I just love how relaxing it is to randomly place dirt blocks. And now the area is transformed and I can build the farm. For that I'm gonna craft a lot of hoppers which is probably gonna take my whole iron supply. Then I need to get some more mud and luckily I still have some in my chests and I'll also get some flowers. I also made some dispensers from the bows of the skeletons in my XP farm, RIP skellies. Then I just had some observers left to craft and I was so happy I had all the quartz because I was so not ready to see the nether again. I hate the nether. I'm gonna put down some placeholder blocks for where the bee mansion is gonna be. Haha, <laughs> get it? Bee. Okay, I'll stop. This build shape is gonna be really nice. Wait, it is missing one more thing. It's a face with a tiny mouth and it has big legs. Okay, I really need to make the farm now. Totally not procrastinating. It will have a line of hoppers going into this chest to pick up the honey and some mud on top because honey still goes through it into the hopper, which doesn't work on other blocks. Mud is magical. I got that cool idea from a tutorial. I put the link in the description. I need to place the hives on top, but I'm scared that the bees will fly all over the place, so I'll put some dirt here for now and I'll figure it out later. I'm gonna put the observers and the dispensers on top, which is gonna shear the hives. But every complicated redstone contraption needs to be cottage corified. Yes, I just made up that word, so I'll decorate it with spruce wood. It is looking way cuter now, but it's still missing the beehives. And because not all the hives had three bees, I started breeding them in a secret location until all the hives were occupied. And I also moved them into those wooden hives so I can use the normal ones for decoration outside. The secret room is definitely not behind this sus looking acacia door. So I accidentally angered the bees and now they're really mad. Oh my gosh, it is turning around to sting me. Look at the tiny legs. I'm sorry bees, please don't be mad. I will kill you. I'll just wait for them to calm down and build another farm module over here. Hey bees, have you calmed down? Okay, I think they're chill again. There are so many bees and now I realized angering them could literally end my entire hardcore world. Okay, I'm scared, I need to get out. Let's get the hives and put them all in the farm without any bees escaping. I'm not scared. No, they escaped! Oh. Yeah, there's totally an opening. I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's close it quickly. 
Unbelievable what an absolute idiot I am. And sometimes I have big brain ideas like putting the hives in my offhand so I can place it really fast. Okay, I did it. Look at all the cute bees. I just gotta craft some shears and put one in each of the dispensers. Now we just have to do the other side. And then I almost died. So I just angered the bees and panic blocked out. Let's get back into the world. Wait. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, it's night time. I'm gonna die. Guys, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, I, I can eat. Eat, 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 eat. No, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't even die. But I was scared. I was scared. I hate bees. I mean, I love bees, but I also hate bees. And with my newfound fear of bees, I can continue adding the rest of the hives to the second farm. I never want to see a bee in my life again. They are behind me, aren't they? But now the redstone part of the house is done, so I can finally start building the bee mansion. Let's get some stone and also smelt some of the bricks down to get the cracked version. I also mined moss in my mine underground so I can craft mossy bricks. The whole first floor of the mansion will be made of a mix of stone brick variants like the mossy one, so some parts are really overgrown and some are cracked and broken down. I'll even put some stairs in the walls to add the old cottage look. And some leaves in the wall at the back. Such a cozy wall! Then I also add some windows in the front, but this time I won't use my usual magenta glass and make it yellow glass instead because it's bee and honey colored! Then in the middle is gonna be the grand entrance to the farm itself. I hope I won't ever run out of this door screaming because I angered bees again. I'm not scared. And lastly, some bushes here and there and a couple flowers by the entrance. And of course, lanterns in the window so nothing nasty can spawn here. Are the bees still happy? I think so. And they made some nice honeycomb. Oh my gosh, how much is already in there? This farm is amazing. I think I'll also put some glass bottles and a couple of these dispensers so I get the honey bottles too. But I'm not sure if this farm actually works for honey bottles. I want to build the second floor of the house next and for that I'm going to need all this honeycomb and turn it into blocks. I also want to use yellow terracotta and I still have some of it from my Mesa adventures. I'll just add some yellow dye and now I have two lovely yellow blocks. But before I place those down, I'll add a lovely spruce wood trim all around the top stone layer to separate it from the yellow walls going on top. I try to make this really nice curve by placing a stair and then a stair sideways into it. It looks really nice! Now comes the magical part, the cute yellow honey walls all around this build. I left some spots open for windows but yellow glass would be too yellow. So I'll go with the classic white stained glass panes. And I will add another spruce trim at the top and connect it to the bottom one with fences. Okay, this looks so good like an actual mansion wall with a bit of honeycomb sprinkled in between. But a proper mansion needs a mansion roof and I think those are the hardest roofs to build, at least for me. But so I won't be scared of making them, I will use my favorite cottage core blocks, the bricks and a bit of granite in between. Let's get some more clay. Why is there random clay floating around here? Is that the clay I got last time? How did that not despawn yet? What? It's hard to imagine that getting this little stack of bricks took an hour to get and I made this huge wall of furnaces to smelt them all. But this is exactly how long it took. But I got it all. Let's start the first layer. This basically just looks like a random box. But don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. I didn't. Let's add some stairs and slabs on the spruce wood for some nice detailing and this is probably gonna look awful. This definitely didn't just happen. Let's also spam some fences on top because everything looks good with spruce wood. Okay, let's see it. Uh, yeah, I think I can make this work. I added the same thing on the other side and now it just needs a middle bit. I'm gonna make this one a bit higher than the ones on the side and I think this is turning into an actual mansion roof. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm building a complicated roof. And another little spruce feature in form of a round window just in case the roof looks awful and needs sprucing up. Okay, that was bad. I trapped myself in the window! Help! I'm just gonna do this. I'm not scared. I did it! I made a roof! And I love my tiny round roof window! This build doesn't really scream bee mansion yet though. I did the mansion bit, but not so much the bee bit. Let's bone meal all those tall flowers and get at least 20 of each of them. RIP my bone meal. 
Then I'll place some dirt on top of the roof but with a grass block so it all turns green. And this is gonna be my rooftop flower bed with all of the tall flowers and some leaves. Cute flowers in the rain! Let's see how these flower beds look from far away. Yeah, it's barely visible but it is cute and I know it's there. I can definitely sort of see it from my balcony. Bees like flowers, so I made a flower field. But flowers also need bees, so I'm gonna make a bee. A friendly one that doesn't sting me to death. I'll use yellow terracotta and black wool for this. Let's make a black banner with a little blue square. These are gonna be the eyes of the bee. Now it literally is a bee mansion. Look at this adorable little bee, it is so cute! I'll name her Honey because Honey is sweet. But this bee also has a stinger and when she gets mad, her eyes turn red. Yes, I just wasted black wool for this, so worth it. I think I'm getting cuteness overload. Let's work on the interior before I explode into tiny rainbows. First thing I need to do is cover up this dirt in the ceiling using spruce blocks. This looks cozy now. Then this part above the farm is so ugly, so I thought I'd cover it up with an indoor flower field. This is super cute! And there's also a little hidden area to sit and look out the window. And I'm just gonna slap some classic ladders on the walls so I can get up to the flowers and the way down to the dispensers of the farm. I didn't like that there was just an empty wall when I walk into the house, so I came up with a honey barrel design. It's basically a huge barrel in the wall where honey is stored. Let's put some actual honey down here, and this is where it comes out of. And because the big barrel is made of actual barrels, I can even store my honeycomb in it. I love this house. I just noticed how annoying the bee noises are. I'm out of here. I also love how I can't see the mansion because it's covered up by these trees. Oh wait, I don't love that at all. Be gone birch trees! Because a grand bee mansion needs a grandera entrance. Grandera. I just made up that word. Now that this place is cleared of trees, I can turn it into a cozy bee garden. Let's first do the entrance which is gonna be two giant honey bottles as the gates to the mansion. It took ages to get this many honey blocks, but it was so worth it. This is so cute, look how nicely it frames the mansion. And we can walk through this little gate into the garden. That totally isn't there yet. First I'll connect the stone path all the way up to the house. Then I'm gonna add a few custom trees to this garden using oak wood and spruce materials to detail them. I'm also adding some patches of coarse dirt all over the place before placing a lot of the tall flowers to create a beautiful and colorful landscape. I'm gonna hide some shroom lights under the leaves so I won't get any angry mobs spawning here. Walking through this garden is the best thing ever, there's so many beautiful colors here. All that is missing is life, so I thought I'd add some of the spare beehives to this place. Maybe one in the tree and another one in the flowers. Be free my bees, enjoy the gardens. Now this is a proper bee mansion. I just have to be careful to not anger the bees. Ah, the red eyes. I hope you enjoyed this hardcore episode. I'll see you next time. Bye.